over at New Heath and uh, Columbus Ave in Roxbury. So this is supposed to be like the bus lane right here. You got these cars. I guess they can't see the signs and the detour, but see how it says bus only right there? And you got all these guys kind of like in the, they're actually in the bus lane, but not kind of, they are. But so this is because the orange line is um, kind of shut down from, you know, Forest Hills to Back Bay. So this is supposed to be like an express bus lane. And you got one on the other side over there as well. Keep the buses going straight to Forest Hills or wherever they're going to. <laughs> he's, trying, he's trying to keep them out of the bus lane, but they 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 still um so you got another one over there too. They they still uh they still find their way in there. Let's see how see How's it going? Keeping them out of the bus lane? Are, are, are they staying out of the bus lane? Are they staying out of the bus lane? You want to say that on video? Okay. <laughs> He's in the bus lane too. Somebody smells like weed though. Hopefully it's not him. That wouldn't be... You're not smoking weed, are you? That's not good if you... Well... Wow. It's supposed to be legal, but still. So this is supposed to be the, uh, take a walk all the way down. He's still trying to keep them out. He, he moved further down to keep them, uh, you, you guys can see that. Can I zoom in on that? I, I believe at the very end of the street where you come from Jackson, there's a sign that says bus lane on it. But no one's reading those signs. And they're not understanding why these cones are in the middle of the street either. So that's that's the other thing. Like, me, I kind of figured it out. But not everybody's going to be able to figure that out. But there is signs though too. So that's not an excuse. Walk down to this intersection over here. The only thing I don't understand is why they got a cone in that that lane right there. Unless they don't want them to make that left turn up front. Because you um you got you don't need to divide that that stretch in the middle. Yeah, that's interesting. Why are they dividing that? Uh, that doesn't make sense because you, you got a lane over here. You don't need to divide that lane over there Yeah, I don't know why they don't like, got that second roll of cones Unless they don't want you to make a left-hand turn up there, but that still doesn't make any sense This must be a new sign. Begin right turn lane, yield to bikes and buses, or oh, buses and bikes. Or oh, they, they don't want you to make a left hand turn. So when you get up here, see that sign says no left turn? So they don't want you to make a left hand turn up here, which makes it, oh, they, oh I see what they got going on over here. They got construction vehicles. We'll, take, we'll show you what they got. They got construction vehicles over there by the, uh, that street. I guess that's Cedar Street. Yeah, it has to be Cedar, because Cedar comes off of uh, Washington all the way through. Um, see all the way down, they got the, there's actually no street sign up here either. Wow, it's interesting. Not one pole has a, uh, a street sign on it. 
soon as the light's in our favor, we'll cross over and show you what they have over there. A lot of detour signs. That sign says Columbus Ave. You only can make a right or a left. You can't go straight. Some of these people are not using their directionals, which doesn't help. Uh, so you got this all kind of. Well, I'm not too sure what's inside those bags there. Be interesting. They got they got a whole lot of them. A whole lot of bags up there. Uh, can't make out what that is. It's not sandbags. Uh, Too big to be plaster. I don't know what the heck that is. You got a city of Boston uh, permit on that wall there too. You gotta read that and see what that says. Uh, occupancy permit. Not too sure what the occupancy permit is for. For loading and unloading for MBTA, Orange Line work. So this is the permit for them to block the street. But it says occupancy. I don't know if that's, if that's the proper... Maybe they're, they're occupying the street. And you got tape covering this. If I take the tape off, it's probably going to deface... Well, maybe it, will, maybe it will, maybe it won't. Yeah, it's going to deface the actual permit. Interesting though. So they got an occupancy for the, to block this, this area here. Um, I don't know what's in those bags. I'm trying to find out. You know what's inside those bags on top of that truck? Yeah, he's just guarding it. You know what's inside? Let's see if he, maybe he might know. He should know. Do you know what's inside these bags right here? I do not. That's interesting. It's a lot of bags. I'm trying to figure out what that's for. Yeah, I'm not sure. It might be, uh, could be cement. Uh, no, nah, it's just too big to be cement, though. Yeah. Well, it could be, but I don't know. <laughs> interesting, though. Yeah. All right. We'll try, to, we'll try to figure it out by the end of the day. <laughs> All right, thanks, man. Uh, he, he doesn't know. I, I don't expect him to know, but it's, it's just, they have a lot of them, though, so it's, it's kind of hard to say what they're using that for. And these bags are obviously different from the bags on that truck. Uh, it's a lot of them. Like, you wouldn't need that much cement. If you had that much cement, you might as well have a truck come in and pour it. It wouldn't make, it wouldn't make sense to, you know... At least for me, it wouldn't. Uh, these guys got to exercise in the bike lane. So this is what they have down here. They got a detour. You got a you got a bus lane on far right on both sides. You can't make any left onto. Actually, there's a sign over here, Cedar Street. There's a sign right there, but it should be one on the other side as well. You can't make a left on the Cedar Street. You only could go straight. And. We'll see how it, we'll see how it's going on. I might take a ride by one of the stations. I might stop by Ruggo Station and do a quick video of people getting on and off the buses and see how that works out. Okay, it'd be crosswater lights in my favor. See, he's in that lane, but which way are you going? <laughs> You're in the wrong lane, my man. You gotta be in this lane. <laughs> See how that's gonna work out when he drives now, cause now he's he's in the wrong lane. He's definitely in the wrong lane, cause there's no left turn. You can't you can't make a left. You gotta go straight. 
Just watch your, watch your side. We figured it out now, but. And these cars are just. Trying to catch the light before it turns red. So he's gonna. See, when that light turns green. I mean, see, no one synchronized these arrows. Well, I guess those cars can make the, the left on, on that side. Well, he's, he's got it now. What's up? <laughs> All right, let me, uh, let me walk back, to, back down where I came from. Uh, keep an eye on these cars that are... See, I, I think what they should have done... It's only my opinion. They should have put the cones a little tighter, and at the very end where the split starts, uh, no, they can't. They couldn't even do that. Well, no, they could have made the two lanes going straight if they wanted to. Is there enough room to do that? Yeah, there is. So they can make two lanes going straight. Cause if you if you look over here, right. Let me walk down to show you what I'm talking about. They can make both of these lanes going. So it could have been two lanes going straight. And they got, and they got enough money to use extra cones. Cause they, got, they got a couple of extra cones around. This When that little yellow strip there, that eventually turns into a lane all together. So it actually opens up to another lane. So if you put cones and you directed the cars... To stay right on that that orange section right there, that gives you your um, that gives you a second lane all the way down. Now, as you get further down, the lane's already there, so you don't have to keep going down. You stop about almost about well, another hundred yards, not even hundred yards, another fifty yards, and you see where the lane starts up. So you, you can have your two lanes right there. Just said you can't make a left a left hand turn. I think you guys can see it from here where the the other lane picks up. Right where that gray car just went, that's the second lane. So you have your you have your two lanes right there. All you have to do is just keep it. Consistent with the middle because that, that's your barrier right there where that cobblestone is That's your barrier. That's just your divider of the road. No cars to be on that side of the road They'll just be right over the yellow transition So you have two lanes all the way straight through you wouldn't have no, no interruption Only thing is no one can make a left-hand turn which would be obvious And that way you wouldn't have to put cones there at all. You just put those same cones there in the middle over here and just direct them to make two lanes. I think that would have been easy enough, right? I right, just walk down the other end and we'll head up out of here. I guess they're trying to compensate the bus lane to make up for the traffic that they'd be missing on the uh, on the train. So the train would be obviously a lot quicker, with less stops. So I guess the bus lane is supposed to make it. Yeah, great car. I don't know what he's doing. He's holding up the whole thing, or she.
And just so you guys know, the the MBTA is planning, already planned, on running a center running bus lane through this thing anyway. That's already in their design and making, which is very silly and stupid. They already done it on the other side of Columbus Ave, so that's their plan is to put a center running bus lane through here, which, honestly, I believe it's just a waste of money and a way to hide money and not use it on the right stuff. Because if you get that much money to do this and you can't fix up the trains, that's, that doesn't make any sense. And I believe it costs like 60, if I'm not mistaken, 60 million to put that center running bus lane up, uh, what's that, Columbus Ave, Seaver Street area. It runs from, uh, runs from the bottom of Center Street up to uh, Walnut Ave and Seaver, right that area. You guys have probably seen it. So far now, uh, I guess he moved down further. So by him moving down further, it, it, it's keeping him out of the, uh, the bus lane so far. How can I help you? So that's what we have so far, guys. Uh, If you don't want cars in that lane, you got to put something in the lane to keep them out of that lane. You just don't divide the lane and leave it like that. They could have put caution tape connecting each cone together so no one's trying to squeeze in there. Or just kept it double lane all the way down, which would have made more sense. And <laughs> they're still not listening to him. He, I think he's just giving up on it. <laughs> You guys see what I'm seeing? He just giving up completely. See how the cars are just riding the bike, the bike, the bus lane. I'm saying they're just doing it because they feel like doing it. Let's walk down and see, like, why they're uh, why they're making this error, or how they're making this error. He's been out here all day trying to keep cars. Kind of to do the obvious, what they should be doing. It's not easy, man. I, it's, you're trying, man. You're trying. No, man. Just keep doing your do. Do your thing, man. You, 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 you're, doing the, you're doing the best you can, man. But they, they're not paying attention. It is what it is. Take care, man. Be safe. We got a truck right there. See, I tell you what you should see. I'm gonna walk down it so you can so you so you can see what, what you should see when you come that way, so you get an idea why these people are not paying attention. We got a big old truck that's in that lane. Now. Assuming that that truck represents the rest of the road that you're going down and the cones represent the lane that you shouldn't be um, passing, they got a U-Haul truck doing the same thing right here. Get this big big truck right here that kind of represents that that lane is closed you got a pretty good sized truck in there now I don't know if the arrow is lit up or not but I turn around in a second to see it's the arrow board on the back of that truck it's not lit up yet it should be lit up. 
But it's a big truck in that lane. That kind of tells you not to go in that lane. Let's walk, let's walk down further. See what else we can see down here. You know what? This is the first time they've done this. So a lot of drivers, I think they would be confused if they didn't know exactly what's going on. Because honestly, I wouldn't know what the heck is going on either. Somebody just put a bunch of cones in the middle of the road. I'd be like... So, the, I think the confusion is right here because that sign is not properly displayed. It's kind of flapping. It's not even facing the right way. So the confusion is right there. That sign is not even, um, not even. Um, and I know I, I'm not, I'm not going to be able to put that up the right way. You're going the wrong way, buddy. Yeah. You figured it out, but it's too late. So let me see how this sign is supposed to be looking. This sign. Yeah, should be faced like this. There's no, they need tape on it though. They need some tape. Unfortunately, I don't have no tape with me. Yeah, they need some tape on that sign. That's the bike. That's the bus lane. You know, gotta get over to the other side. Um, it should be facing like that. But then somebody need to put tape on that thing. And I'm not gonna go get no tape and put it on. That's that's somebody else's job to do that. Somebody's getting paid a lot of money to do that kind of stuff, and it's not me. I just point out what I see wrong. So that sign right there should say bus only, but. The weird thing is, it's not pointing to a direction. It just says bus only. Oh, this is a right lane. Okay. So it says right lane bus only. Um, that should be a more stationary sign than something that's flapping in the wind like that. And, uh, I don't know. That's probably the confusion right there. People can't see that sign. See, now he's seen the sign and he still went that way. Look how many drivers are actually driving in the uh, bus lane. So, see, they're kind of figuring it out at the last minute, but it's like, see, they're all trying to figure it out now. That sign's probably going to flip over because it's not really secured properly. It is semi secured, but not secured enough that I would call it a good, a good fixing. So he's kind of like holding up the whole lane because of that one vehicle right there, or two vehicles. She she looked like she's a captain on the on the ship. The uniform that she's wearing. You know, I guess that's the uniform for the buses, bus drivers. They got, they got quite a few buses though, so that's no shortage of uh, bus drivers, I guess, for now anyway. All right, um, that's pretty much what we can see over here. Not much else. At this point, if you're, if you're riding your bike, see how fast these guys are moving? They're moving at a good pace, not, not too fast, not too slow. You can get to Farvest Hills probably quicker by bike than vehicle at this point. Pretty, sh pretty sure you can. So the problem is, I think there's not enough people in the field that know what they're doing or making sure things are done the right way. Got plenty of cones on the back of that truck, so there's no shortage of cones. They could put those rest of the cones and kind of made it so no one would. Uh, I'll let him know. I'll tell him. Maybe he can forward the information to somebody else. And then all I can do is inform somebody. From that point on, 
they can figure it out from there. Like you're not supposed to actually call a whole bunch of people. All you just fall inform one agent of the company, and that's that's good enough. And it's, it'll be documentation because it, it'll be on video. So I'll just inform him that the sign down there is not holding up the right way, and we'll be out of here. Some people they get you got to call. Oh, you got to call MBTA. You got to call dispatch. You got to make a, a report. Nah, you just got to notify any agent of the MBTA because the, the MBTA has a slogan. So you see something, you say something. You know, it doesn't say who you have to say it to. Just say something to somebody. And once they're notified, they're supposed to take it to their hands. It's like if you call 911. Once you call 911, they figure out who's supposed to be notified for that situation. I got, I got one thing to tell you and I'm out of here. The reason why those cars are coming in this lane that sign at the very end is not is not up the right way. So the sign is you know how they somebody taped it up? The tape is not holding the sign. The sign is just blowing with the wind. So they can't see that sign. That's why they're doing that. No, they can't see it. Right. Cause I, I pushed it back the way the best I could, but somebody needs to get some tape and tape yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I and see it. These they need to tape it up the right way. Just let somebody know they need to put some tape. Okay, buddy, take care. Be safe. Alright, I'm I'm out of here guys. Catch you in the next one.